Top pick number one, Transalta Renewables. Uh, you know, I was just looking at a chart here, uh, down 32% in one year. Um, this is paying you a dividend of close to 8%. Wow. Trading at around 15 times 2023 with a 24% growth rate that we're modeling. Uh, something's wrong for this stock to get this cheap. Uh, I think this is bearing the, brus the brunt of inflation fears, of interest rate fears. I think that we're, you know, you're starting to see negative data in the states, uh, leading indicators. I mean, the Fed is not going to is not going to stop, but they might get to a point in the next three months where they pause. And I think that, you know, we've seen a lot of the the, the higher rates. So. I like the theme of being near the top of the rate path, at least within you know the next six months or so. I really like the renewable theme that this has. Uh, drop downs from the parent are, a, a, you know, Transalta are a really good source of growth, and they just extended their Sarnia contract as well, which alleviates a little bit of uh, doubt that was in the stock. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I think that money is just you know run away you know individual investors are very bearish um, one of the least bullish indicators that we've seen recently I think 21 percent AII uh, bullishness good contrarian indicator and you know I want names in case we don't know whether we're gonna have a recession we don't know you know I think if we do it'll probably be mild but we don't know there could be all these unintended consequences why not have a name that's already pretty cheap that's already paying you eight percent to wait it's already down 31%. That's really not going to hurt you from here. So if you're looking at equities, I think that this is a nice place to start. The TSX Renewable and Clean Energy Index is down about 22% this year. I wonder, did those stocks get a bit inflated? I mean, uh, we heard so much money was absolutely, going in. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Like, there were managers with you know clean energy mandates that had to go in there, and money's you know come out and gone into the actual oil and gas now. So. Um, that's definitely part of the story. Crombie REIT, again a dividend play. You know what, again, really looking for defensive themes. This is grocery anchored retail, benefiting from some sort of inflation. Uh, last quarter was in line, uh, their occupancy was up 6.4% uh, uh, higher on their leasing spreads. Um, you know, it's come down enough that it's trading at around 14.7 multiple um, with about a 10% growth rate. Price to growth, very compelling with a real super nice dividend and a pretty reasonable balance sheet. So if you're looking for equities here, if you're looking for bonds, that's great. I don't think there's anything wrong with buying a one-year, two-year bond and getting 4.5%. That's great. But if you're looking for equities, um, that's taxed more favorably. This would be a distribution. But... You're going to get a real nice distribution here, and I think that this thing is cheaper than it ought to be, so you're going to get some nice growth. Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. Yeah, so this is a name that uh, I think is doing everything right. You know, they're in with the decarbonation theme. They're in with the deglobalization theme. Um, very, uh, you know, not as cheap as it could be, but trading at around 14 times with about a 9 or 10 percent growth rate. Uh, I think that this is a, a name that has been a must own for investors, um, continues to be doing things really well. Um, their dividend is good. They're going to continue to get uh, dividend growth. And, it, you know, it is also down from its highs. And I think now is a good opportunity to be buying it. And he, I mean, it's interesting, governments around the world are going to be looking for private money to build roads, bridges, you name it. That's not going Yeah, away, you know, yeah. and, and I, I didn't, you know, this, true, true, this is an inflation-linked uh, revenue and robust deal pipeline. So they are, they benefit from inflation. They are also uh, very opportunistic. So if there's, you know, uh, if there's a recession, that's going to yield opportunities. They're looking to be a buyer of that. Uh, particularly in transport. So um, they're going to use the cycle to their advantage, and I think that it's a great story that uh, people need to own. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Um, are you looking for a rally? The November, December tend to be really good months so listen, historically. It's really, really cute to call a rally here. I, I actually think we're in it right now. Like, I mean, I know that we're having a tough tape today, but mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot of people that take satisfaction in days like today when the market's not up. 
because a lot of people have really de-risked. So I think that if you get some more up days in the market, people are going to be teased back in. Now that's all, you know, really fancy stuff. It, it, you know, I still think that we haven't had the complete reckoning in the market, and I think that we'll probably bottom first quarter, second quarter. But I do believe that we're at levels now that it's very interesting to be picking away.